so one of our uh, biggest heavy hitter snakes that we had. So again, we hit we hit the stranger Pompeii. We have the but yeah, guys. Isn't this freaking beautiful, man? Again, fire. What's up, YouTube? How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's having a great, great day. Uh, Cause I am, guys. I cannot tell you the craziness that we're hatching right now, and it's cool because. Most of like all of my um, my clown clutches are now hatching, and the stuff that we're hatching is freaking insane. Um, before we get to that, I want to give a big shout out to Shomad. He's a really famous tattoo artist out in Mexico City. Um, he's a big uh, snake fan. He loves reptiles out there. And I actually had taken a picture of this snake right here, which was a orange dream yellow belly pinstripe inchi pied 100 head desert ghost that was that lottery clutch that i called and I, you know I, if you guys follow me on instagram i always take a picture like this basically just like that so he took a he, he took that and he drew this and he made this exact replica with all his evolving pythons so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give away a couple well, a couple probably gonna give away 10 of these stickers out to you know 10 of you guys so guys comment down below and then we're gonna do the random comment picker for the guys that are um that leave a comment out there if you guys want a sticker if not just give it a thumbs up subscribe and do all that good stuff i always forget to ask that and it's supposed to be really good for you so you can like and subscribe and if you're not already subscribed but all right so yeah so yeah go uh, go make sure you guys go check him out dude he's really really awesome so um back to the clown stuff so one of our uh, biggest heavy hitter snakes that we hatched this season was obviously the sunset clown we hatched a few of them um and then we hit the stranger pompeii which was i mean one of the best looking clowns we had ever hatched and that's spot nose red stripe yellow belly stranger so instead of having the black pastel we had a stranger into it um we also have a mahogany uh pompeii What's the name of this light over here real quick? Which we showed you guys recently on the other vlog and you know, just a beautiful snake, man. These Pompeii things are freaking amazing. So again, we hit we hit the Stranger Pompeii, we have the Mahogany, Mahogany Pompeii. Justin's made a few different kinds of just the regular Pompeii clowns. Um, but we are work, we were working with this new, um, what's a new Jane? I haven't really seen too much people have it. I bought it two years ago, three years ago, and we got lucky, man. If you guys haven't seen my Instagram, we hit a spot nose red stripe yellow belly that jean clown and man it looks very very similar to the pompeii uh, mahogany similar to the uh not the stranger one's a little darker but it's very similar to that very orange um i'll show you guys a couple of pictures of the base morph and then that one uh crazy crazy clown uh right now um david hook him up with some pictures So that right there is the base morph of that new gene. Well, not a new gene, someone already made it, but it's some calling new gene because it's new in my collection. And then this right here is the, I always call it the Pompeii version just because it's so close to being the Pompeii, it just doesn't have black pastel. It has that new gene in it or another gene in it. Um, check this out. Yeah, dude, I'm freaking blown away, dude. And we just cut a couple of clutches. It's so freaking insane. Every Most of my clown clutches that are going to be hatching right now are all going to be 100% head desert ghost. So, dude, it's so cool. So freaking cool. Uh, speaking of clowns, dude, we got lucky with this uh, with this clutch right here. This pairing right here was a uh, Fire Lester Clown bred to... Oh, it's Fire Cypress Clown bred to a Lester Clown, man. And we freaking killed it. So, right here we have a normal clown. Looks like a blade clown. Pretty reduced pattern. You know, beautiful, beautiful, nice little clown right here. And then we made this fire clown. Pretty clown as well, right? And then we hit this lesser fire clown. Six eggs. And then we hit two pretty little cypress girls right here. Look at these. Both of them are cypress clowns. So last year I did two of these pairings and we thought we had hit the fire lesser clown, but we trust me, we didn't because we actually finally hit the lesser uh, fire cypress. And look at this thing. This thing is freaking beautiful. But yeah, guys, isn't this freaking beautiful, man? Again, fire lesser cypress clown. And this right here is a boy. And they will be available. So we also, um, I'm doing an update on the pied clutch that we um, that we hit, man. We got super, super lucky. 12 eggs and we hit 10 visual pieds. No, that's a lie. 
12 eggs, we had seven visuals, and there's three ivories in here, and the other two I didn't bring out because they weren't like visuals, and I thought these were visual, but they were ivories, so. But yeah, let me show you these things. Yeah, so here it is, guys. Look at this. So, let's start off with the, the more, oh, you little <laughs> little basic ones. So right here we have some ivories that are 100% hep pied, and these ivories could actually have, you know, um, Orange Dream, Yellow Belly, I mean, obviously Yellow Belly, Orange Dream, Inchi, Genex, you know, Pastel, you name it. They could have it in there. So we have these three pipes, these three ivories. That was gonna be pretty hard right here. Then we hit this, we hit this ivory pipe. So look, you can see the difference between a ivory and an ivory pipe because the ivory pipes have these little saddles on them. At first I was having a little trouble. I was like, oh man, but this could have, you know, pastel inchi orange dream. Um, and you know be an ivory pie definite powerhouse right here. I actually kept one um, It's up here. Let me see OD ivory pie and the only reason why we know it's OD is because it came from a super orange dream Look at this ivory pie again. You can see all the saddles and this is you know it, Ivory pies are really good to have man just because you want to make sure your um, your uh, pies have yellow belly in them You know just brightens up the colors. Okay, so let's start off with the other ones so I'm just gonna start bringing them out because they're just kind of, okay. oh. So right here, sorry guys. Right here we have an Orange Dream Yellow Belly Pied. Beautiful little thing. Then right here we have what I believe is a Pastel Orange Dream Inchi Pied. Possible Yellow Belly. I mean, I've had some of these, but they've been way brighter. So I'm not sure if it's missing the yellow belly, which I think it does have pixelation. Or you know what it could be? I'm sorry. I think this is a pastel yellow belly inchy pied, and it doesn't have the orange dream. So the reason why I'm trying to compare it is to this, because right here we have an OD YB inchy pastel pied, and this thing's already old, but look at the brightness on this bad boy. You know, big difference. That is that GNX though, man. That GNX just keeps them looking good. All right, so let's come over here. Let's pull out a few more. Guys, chill, 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 chill. All right. Woo! Good Hi. hands, turtle. <laughs> Dude, what's, what the hell's up with these things? Okay, so then right here, we have a pastel, I believe this is a pastel orange dream pie. And the other one was, oh my gosh, these things are freaking nuts. Right here, we have an orange dream pied. Don't think it's yellow belly, just cause it doesn't have enough, you know, pixelation on it. And let's go through, I believe there's one more. It's this one right here. And I think this right here is a pastel orange dream yellow belly pied it's just very you know very very white and i believe uh, we had sexies already and there was a lot a lot of males more than the worst females but um all these will be available um as always guys man i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog we're gonna keep on knocking them out for you guys i'm getting ready to start my breeding season over here as always we appreciate all the support Till next time peace